Hey guys, from Let's Cloud here, and welcome to another Final Fantasy Free Experience. Uh, this time is the Elite Run. Well, it took me a while because I was training COD for this. Um, yeah, if you have COD, the six stars are up, evolve, and if you have the materials, evolve and train her. Uh, she will be really useful for this event because of her man eater ability. She had six plus uh, six star will give her a man eater plus ability. So I think that stacks with the regular man eater passive. I'm not sure, but you'll be dealing like uh, maybe 10k damage per hit or something like that. So it would be really good if you take your time to train your COD if you have one. So this is a pretty much my standard team. I'm not too keen on using bots at this moment because bots is now considered not so powerful until you get his six stars because he's one of the earlier patch of units and the way this game is going is like those units that are released a bit earlier tend to lose their relevance later on in the game. Lightning however will still last pretty strong because uh, I believe it's due to popularity as well. You know, Final Fantasy stuff. Okay, um, none of the monsters here should give you any problem. Uh, the, the Kum Kum would be able to, I think, cast death or something, but uh, <laughs> it's not that common and he could be taken out anyway, so quite easily. Unless you meet three of them in the same party, that would be a hassle. But um, yeah, it's quite low chance, so I, I, I wouldn't worry about that. Anyway, if you do worry about it, you can just cast some AoE here. So the thing to look out for here is the actually the three dragons that would appear in the elite uh, dungeon. The weakest being the yellow one. And the strongest being the red, of course the green is the other one. And well the yellow one gives a lot of magicides. Uh, a lot of yellow magicides good for your Ramu. Okay, so this is the last part of the it's kinda of weird, is this is like an illusion thing or something like that. <laughs> Where the path you cannot walk on, but you can walk on water apparently. Not sure if anything to do with FF3. I did not play much of FF3 to you know whether that's things like that. It is such an old game. I mean the music here is already like 8-bit kind of thing. If you think FF4 music was was old sounding, this is really classic. Okay so about the dragons, yes. Uh, dragons will tend to cast all those gas skills and AoE stuff, so it's really hard to defend against any of that. Uh, I believe Celeste Sealing Blade could seal the, the all those gas spells, but the physical attack that is something else. You would want to cast Cheer to get the defense or guard whatever, and just use your heavy attackers. To get them down, the uh, yellow being the easiest, and the green, the green one will give you the green magicites. It's not, I think it's for Kampangle later on, not yet have my academy. So, um, if you can't farm any, just, I mean, if your team isn't that strong, try the yellow one. Because the yellow one is the weakest and it gives a lot of thunder magic size, like really a lot. So it will be good for your Ramu anyway. If you can't just uh, escape, uh, use escape from Kafka or Lock, or uh, if you don't have any of those units, you can use the item Smoke Bomb, which I have been doing. But in the, this run, 
I don't know whether it's fortunate or unfortunate, I did not encounter any dragon, so... Yeah, so this is the part where the story comes in. Now the red dragon would be a bit harder and different. It will drop your 6 star evolved materials. Uh, I believe all the dragons might have a possibility of dropping Phoenix down and Elixir, but those are the rare things. It's very rare. Or is it just the red dragon only? But uh, yeah, if you can't defeat the red dragon, or rather if you need to, if it uses up a lot of resource to defeat the red dragon, because you eventually need to fight Xander here, you don't feel too bad about it. Six star material, you can get it from those King Mom events. So anyway, let's get to this boss fight. So first off the bat, uh, I believe Cecilia I cast Provoke. Uh, Lena is going to cast the cheer, get the defense of, uh, and Provoke is to <laughs> provoke the physical damage because it it hurts quite a lot. It's a uh, few blows. If it hits one of your weaker units, it's gone. So the rest will be attacking. Um, Lightning will be using the. Uh, limit burst here because uh, it lowers his defense. Um, you can or you can don't use that if you have a full brick character. I don't have one yet. I did summon one in the last video, but uh, yeah, it's just summoned, so still training fan. Alright, so COD's barrage. Uh, if you have a dual wheel on COD, that would be awesome, but uh, single wheel, you can see that each hit after lightning's defense down is like dealing 15,000 15, 15, a hit, so times 4. I got him down a quarter of his health already with lightning as well. So second turn, you want to defend all your units or maybe just the weaker ones uh, I'm probably I think I yeah I left uh, Cecil to cast focus he won't die anyway his health is like insane so so he will cast focus anybody basically with uh, less than 3000 health should be guarding and those less than 4000 you might also want to guard because uh, <laughs> yeah it, it's it hurts it, and it's uh, it might be risky if you risk those 3000 health one. so I think lightning is still gonna attack this yes. uh, lightning will be sent to attack here gonna cut his health down to half so this is a dual wheel and I'm doing barrage iron barrage to be <laughs> I think better than crushing blow I'm not sure yeah it should be better than Crushing blow if your uh, attack is there. Okay, so you see, even the guard is still fall like half to below half. So if you don't guard <laughs> those, those guys are probably dead. So right now you just want to do your Raja and uh, yeah, just heal again. It would be good if you have Cecil because he acts as a sub healer. If not, you can need to, uh, to get two healers. Like Tala would be actually a replacement if I have another healer. I wouldn't want to bring Fina in because her health is really low. It's lower than 2000 or something like that. So, okay. Um, at this point in stage, after the second turn, Xander will we sort of use like earth and fire spells against your whole team. So you would want to do this uh, Arfira and Bar Stone Ra. Uh, okay, so but I said he's uh, kind of old meta, so I'm just using him as a support. His attack is not really that strong, he's much an all rounder character. So once again, um, COD and Lightning is going to be the main attackers of this match. Okay, so 
uh, I think once he falls to like um, 70% or 30% of his health is it 50 percent i can't remember but uh okay he will cast a dark power to sell uh it might not be percent wise i think it's turn wise or somewhere around usually around his 30 percent as in you clear 30 percent of his health and he will do it on the third turn you cast Dark Power, which increase all its stats. You must... <laughs> I would say you must dispel him. Or you can sort of pull it out with Blue Break. Uh, it will sort of neutralize it a bit, but I... Uh, dispel is the safe option. Dispel that buff that he has. Right, and I'm just going to go all out of that because I think I can kill him this turn anyway. Right, if you don't dispel the when he start to cast his uh, Raga or some or quick, it will really hurt <laughs> because his magic stat is. <laughs> it's like wow. I mean, even if you got or uh, something like. So yeah, so he's dead. The other thing is that he does cast uh, is a random a skill called Time Stopper, which he could stop your entire team. That is also random. Sometimes it would some units might not get affected. But uh, what that does is like it stops your entire team for one turn. So <laughs> that is deadly. Um, usually after that, only maybe your six star units might be alive after that so it's kind of an a bit of an rng so with this boss you want to kill him as fast as you can so that you don't get too much of that rng use a lot of food breaks uh man eater ability uh dispel bar fira bar stone ra sure and focus these are your <laughs> best allies here and a high attacker to shorten the battle so that's it uh, if you've got a strong team that you can easily survive with you can start farming dragons so this team is actually quite strong because all the units are alive at the end of the day so but uh, you yes, still have to make a lot of precautionary measures and know when it's going to cast what and garden as and when so that's that's it for this elite run. Uh, is it possible with a six star team? I mean, with a five star team, uh, I'm I'm always saying like it's possible and things like that. But I have tried it myself and it's really hard. And I would still say it's possible because uh, KJ, you know, he he actually done it. <laughs> I will put this tweet here. Psh. Okay, that is his screenshot. You can see his entire team is um, his uh, entire team of five stars, except for the lightning. That's an ally, is uh, borrowed lightning. So either that lightning is insanely strong or he's insanely lucky. But wow, uh, yeah, I've tried and a lot of times I failed. I have. Uh, my last attempt was, I think, with a. Uh, that was a time when my COD is still five stars, so last time was with an um, with a Lunette ally. I got the boss down to almost. It's like one. If I have one turn or one hit, I will want that. But <laughs> yeah, sad to say, it's not meant to be. So, so I will go with the powerhouse option. And so, if you want to follow KJ on Twitter, the links in the description below. My Twitter is also there. And if you want to watch the summon video that uh, me and KJ did uh, a few days ago, it would there will be a box here somewhere. Here, 
and you can go and click that and see it for yourself if you want to stay subscribed to this channel to get more of this content uh, it should appear somewhere around here yeah click on that check it out if you like it give this video a like and comment on what you would like to see next I will be preparing for the next event uh, I believe it's some great frontier collab event it's gonna be another King Mo event farming once again, hopefully there will be six stars materials that we can exchange as well. So we don't feel so bad about the red having to farm red dragon. It's stuff. Okay, so that's it for me and for this video. I'll see you in another video pretty soon. Bye bye.